since the, the 12 o'clock midday uh, and what it is now. It's, it's 11.15 local time, so almost um, 11 hours, 11 hours of violence. It's 1,300 people killed in Tripoli alone with 5,000 people injured. The hospitals cannot even cope with such death toll. So we are saying it out loud to the world that a peaceful city, these journalists lived here for a long time and they could see that life was normal and peaceful in this great city and now it's being turned into a hellfire because of NATO's actions. NATO is attacking the heart of a peaceful civilian city. It's attacking an army that is taking defensive positions. It's attacking volunteers who came out of their houses, left their mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers to defend their cities. And NATO gives direct air cover to these armed gangs who have no political project, no real dream for Libya. What they want right now is vendetta and revenge. They are filled with hatred, supported by tribal conflict, supported by bitterness from the previous years. And all they want is to destroy this beautiful city, especially the tribes, the families, and the neighborhoods that are well known for supporting the leader of this country, Muammar Gaddafi. We said before that we accepted the African roadmap, we accept negotiation, talks. We can sit down with all parties, achieve peace, agree on how to move forward for Libya. But no one wants to listen because all NATO cares about is to destroy this Libyan political system. So it can have a political system that will, will, will fulfill its own desires, not the desires of the Libyan nation.